Connect your scan tool to the vehicle's DCL connector. If the scan tool will not communicate with the vehicle, go to Mill and Scan Data Problems in the main menu. Don't guess here. Make sure that you look up vehicle specific specifications. You will not find some very small problems if you don't have good specs. You'll always find the big gapping problems, but we're looking for things that are not within specifications. So start the engine, allow it to fully warm up, and then compare each data bit to specs. Use vehicle specific specifications so that you can go through the scan data and look for anything that isn't within specs. Then compare the scan data to actual conditions on the engine. In this example, our Raytech gun is measuring at the temperature sensor 150 degrees Fahrenheit and our scan data says 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This is where you'll have to go test the sensor and its circuit when they don't agree with actual conditions. A dirty throttle bore or a power steering pressure switch, an AC switch, a park neutral switch can all cause IAC counts to be higher than normal. So don't forget the dirty throttle bore along with all those switches if the idle air control is higher than normal. A dirty throttle bore indicates that the intake manifold and the back of the intake valves are also dirty. Only cleaning the throttle bore will not fix the problem. This is a typical high mileage valve and the carbon on this valve, some of which you can see has already chipped off from disassembly, will disrupt the air-fuel mixture flow. Carbon also builds up in the fuel rail and the injectors. If the throttle has carbon in it, go to decarbonization of the engine. Once you are sure that the throttle isn't dirty or the carbon has been removed, continue on with scan data testing. When you find data that doesn't match specifications, you must determine why. It may be as simple as the input's wrong, the sensor's wrong. You will need to test the sensor and its circuit. When you find data that doesn't match, is the condition wrong? A dirty mass airflow can cause an engine to run very lean and not set a diagnostic trouble code. The correct the condition would be to clean the mass airflow sensor. So compare to specs and then compare to actual engine conditions and address anything that is out of specifications.